Hi guys, yours in YouTube channel Jeff Games and I Jafar come back. Guys, today in this video you can see the official developers gameplay and review on Warrior. Also, you will see skills and boss battle, a game mechanics with Warrior. Okay guys, thank you for watching and let's go. You can just see the quality of everything is just so much better than what we did in POE, uh, in mm, POE 1. Mm, mm. Um, you know, you can redirect your uh, skills after you've already done them. We also have dodge cancel, so you can cancel out mm, yeah. and uh, dodge roll at any time. Yeah. Um, but uh, we still like to do a lot of skill combinations. So here, for example, is a uh, skill that creates a, uh, a, a magma on the ground. Mm -hmm. If you slam that, uh, then it re-triggers the magma, so oh, you can wow. use this to uh, to do more damage to monsters. Oh, nice. And uh, yeah, we try to just build things like this into every skill that we can. Mm. Um, so, uh, you know, if I use this, um, you might think, okay, well, um, you know, what other slams does it work with? Right. So uh, it actually, we try to make it so it will work with anything. So mm. for example, here I've got a skill called Stampede, which you can use to run, and it does uh, mm. more damage uh, behind. Um, and then if I... Uh, attack the ground with this and then stampede that, uh, then it triggers a very large number of times. So uh, that can be a very effective uh, way. Now this area you have monsters worshipping this artificial sun. Mm -hmm. and as they get closer I start yeah. to take more and more damage. Right. So uh, you want to hide in the shade to uh, protect oh, yourself from, okay. uh, from oh, dying. Um, so uh, you know, it's, it's nice to have these uh, like little area mechanics. Um, but uh, you know, I should probably take a different path uh, mm. to avoid that. We actually have uh, random levels as well, mm. so every time I play this, uh, mm. it will be different. Um, yeah. There will always be a sun in the center, but uh, you know the walls will be different, the monsters will be different, everything, uh, you know, where the entrances are. So, um, you know, it's familiar, but different every time. So keeping in shadow is very important. Yeah, yeah. I'll show you some other skill combinations we have. So, uh, if, I, uh, if I use armor break on a monster here, yeah. so I break the armor, and then I do a slam on top of them. Oh, um, it uh, does uh, extra stun damage. Yeah. Um, so uh, this actually I can use with another skill here called uh, uh, Seismic Cry. Mm -hmm. So here I have these things called Exerted Attacks. Mm. So any attack I do now will be doubled. Oh, here from the laser. Oh, so wow. here, if I do this run, it triggers once, yeah. and then it triggers a second Ooh, time. Oh, nice. So that allows you to, uh, yeah, as I said, to double any skill. Yeah. And. Uh, that means you probably want to use it with whatever your most powerful uh, mm -hmm. skill is. So uh, a pretty good one is, yeah, the, 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 the Rampage. But uh, I'll show you some other skills that uh, might be good to use it with as well. Mm -hmm. I'm admiring your use of keyboard, different, <laughs> yeah. different keys for different skills. Yeah, yeah. I'm a controller player. Yeah. I really like the changing cards to so, be able to after, after, after this, we can play some couch co-op together if you like. Okay, okay. Um, so we can play on controller and uh, yeah, yeah. you can see what that experience is like. Okay. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm going to use a skill called Hammer of the Gods. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'll put it on my skill screen. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a cooldown skill. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, and it drops a large hammer on monsters. So uh, there we go. <laughs> so mm -hmm. it's uh, very powerful. And um, if I use that with my uh, skill that uh, duplicates things, it means mm. I can drop, uh, you know, it will explode a second time. So, uh, first I'll uh, stun some monsters here. Uh, where are we here? Yeah. Uh, let me just uh, get. Oh, I killed. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> There's so much way to, so many ways yeah. to customize your yeah, character. And then we do a big hammer with two. Yeah. And then explode again. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, with support gems, you can still make it uh, more powerful again. Mm. So, uh, oh, that's a, a rare monster, one second. And I really like the gem to always give you the health back. Right? So, um, I'll put those ones on, and then if I can stun a monster again, yeah. uh, oh, uh, then, oh, uh, okay, running out of mana, and then uh, use this. And then now mm. if I drop this one, I get an empowered double hammer. Mm. So it's a red one. <laughs> nice. So how much bigger it is than the prequel? Um, I think that, uh, well, POE 1 has grown very large in yeah. a long time. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. Uh, POE 2 will probably, be, at the start, be a bit yeah. smaller. Oh, okay. But uh, still, uh, I think it will be around 50 hours to get through the campaign. Mm. And uh, still with many, many features in the end game. Mm. And uh, the reason it has to be so big is because, you know, uh, with, with POE 1 being so large, yeah. uh, we have to make sure that we can still appeal to all the players who are yeah. used to having such a large game. 
and I'm, I'm sure so many different classes uh, people want to create different characters. Oh yes. Yeah, I think one of the reasons why our game has lasted so long uh, yeah. is because of the fact that there are so many different things to do with character builds. Yeah. Um, so uh, people have a lot of uh, a lot of stuff to do. Yeah. Oh, this is much more engaging. Yeah. Proper action yeah. game, oh, yes. boss battle. Yeah. Okay. okay, so if I can stun him, he can, uh, in a second, he'll be able to use the double hammer. There we go. And then, uh, oh no, out of mana. Okay, <laughs> there we go. There we go. We do a lot of damage. <laughs> now he starts creating these wormholes, which mm. slow you down. Mm. So uh, you have to be very careful when they bite him. Nope. Is this like in the middle of the game? Or yeah, yeah. Are, yeah, because this boss seems pretty challenging. Well, even at the start of the game, we like to have uh, pretty challenging bosses as oh, well. Oh, okay, that's <laughs> nice. Well, actually, Path of Exile 1 is something very, very accommodating for, right. yeah, in terms of difficulty level. But uh, Path of Exile 2 seems to be a bit more challenging, which is great for yeah. players like me. In PoE 2, um, yeah. we have checkpoint a checkpoint system now. Okay. So if you die, it yeah. doesn't uh, it doesn't hurt nearly as much. Okay. So that means that for a boss fight, we yeah. can be a bit more challenging, but mm. you can start again right away and oh, okay. uh, go right where you left off. Oh, okay. So checkpoint right before the yeah, boss. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's cool. That's yeah. nice. That's like you know from software games. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd say we definitely took some inspiration yeah, from uh, yeah, Elden Ring. Yeah, awesome. Sure. Yeah. I'm running out of mana. Oh. Okay, there we go. I'm out of mana. I used it too much at the start of the fight. Hopefully I can get it soon. Okay. I get too close to the one. Nice. Okay. Yeah. 